All right, I want to show you a few of the uh, rocks that I collected today. And this is a folding bucket. And uh, this is two hours of collecting. And uh, the reason I wanted to share this is because I, some folks, when they'd seen in the past what I'm able to collect in a short period of time, they were a little bit skeptical. Now, I could have easily collected a five-gallon bucket full of agate nodules and jasper during this period of time, but I'm a little bit more selective um, in my collecting. Uh, into a older couple who had pulled over um, on the side of the road and they were kind of poking at some rocks and so I started chatting with them and then uh, this lady showed me a couple of her finds, uh, just a piece, a couple pieces of uh, quartz, uh, tumbled quartz and she said, uh, you know, what is this? And I said, oh, you, you want me to show you something? And so I just said, follow me. And we drove for about five minutes and I pulled over. And in 15 minutes, she had filled her pail and then they left. She was completely satisfied. She was really excited. I said, now you have a spot. Um, and no, I'm not going to tell you my exact location for where I collect these things. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just surface collecting. I'm not digging. And uh, all it takes is a little bit of hiking and a little bit of uh, awareness. Uh, it is the Sucker Creek area, um, and so it's not far from Sucker Creek. It's off of Sucker Creek Road. So uh, let me, these are some of my, my favorites from today. Um, some Jaspers. Uh, this one I just thought will be neat to cut and polish. Just some of the interesting speckles in this one. Um, and some of these rocks may not look too impressive now, um, but they, they make pretty good tumblers and pretty good cutting rocks. Um, what I do is I look for ugly, ugly nodules a lot of the time. I'm more interested in jaspers, but I look for ugly nodules. I don't just collect every piece of agate that I run across, but I look for ugly nodules because you come up with things like this and that'll make some nice slices uh, and I'll make you know, a lot of slices on that and polish up those. That'd be pretty cool. Um, and so, you know, lots of ugly nodules here. You know, I look, I look for layers. I like to find the agates. Um, once in a while, I might pick up a waterline agate, but not too often. Here's some betroidal um, agate. It's got some uh, iron uh, staining on top of the betroidal formation in there. Um, this is just a little uh, piece of. Uh, Chalcedony that's uh, eroded out and, and broken apart. Um, well, this was a really neat find. This is uh, very unusual for the area as far as the color and the, you know, just the interesting swirls and designs in this piece of uh, red and orange and yellow jasper. This will make a really, really nice piece of something. I'll probably make a cab out of it. Um, a lot of these nodules are yet to be uh, discovered, whether they're of interest or not inside. Um, but I'll, I'll cut those later during my cutting season. And here's a, another really interesting piece of agate there. This will be an interesting cutter. Got some plumes inside of this one. It'll be pretty interesting. Some of these nodules... Uh, have you can see the crystalline quartz formation inside the the middle of it and then with some smaller microcrystalline layers on the outside. Let's see if I can show you this one. Some of these look, you know, I just I think they look interesting. I'm not sure if they're gonna be worthwhile or not, but obviously this one wet it looks quite interesting, has good depth. It's got a lot of fractures in it, so it's just a pretty rock. Um, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of this interesting. This is dendritic agate, almost moss-like. Um, if you look a little bit deeper, it's more it's more translucent. Maybe you can't tell as quite, but it's got some good depth to it with the dendrites inside of that. Now here's what I really like to look for is these really unusual. Uh, I call them ugly nodules. And uh, essentially, they are uh, what I might call a jasp agate. And so it's got chalcedony and agate um, parts to it. But you see how it's really ugly in the center there? And that may not look like anything to you. But what's going to be neat is that when I take a cross-section slice of this, that's actually jasper. So that's a jasper formation. And it's going to be encased somewhat... 
um, in this uh, chalcedony and agate. So it'll be interesting to see how this one looks, but there definitely will be jasper and agate formations in this. And so it'll make some really, really interesting cross-section cuts. <clears throat> this was, I thought, one of the most uh, interesting ones that I found today. And uh, I, I'm hoping to get a small cab or two out of it. Um, not sure because it does have some fractures in it, and but uh, it has some really interesting dendrites and some great green jasper, some reds and oranges and whites kind of all blended together. And so I'm hoping that I can get a couple of good cabs or at least one good cab with that green color in it. Um, I'm not sure how deep those dendrites go. They may just be on the surface, but this, this is kind of, I, I was excited about the, the greens and the reds together. I, I really like these multicolored jasper pieces. I'm not much of a fan of just picking up buckets of red and yellow jasper. Although if it was like this, if all red and yellow jasper was like this, oh, I'd be picking up buckets for sure. But maybe you know what I mean, the common red and yellow jasper that people seem to get all excited about and bring a whole bunch home. And that isn't really much to uh, get too excited about. Here is, you know, just a little broken nodule here. There's some agate layers in it. Now this one is interesting. I, I, I suspect now I found this down um, I found this down kind of close to a canal area. And yeah, there is some some tumbled stone, you know, from from uh, erosion and water tumbled stone. But uh, this isn't polished. It's just wet. But you can see it looks like a tumbled rock. And so I, I have my suspicion, because this was fairly near the road, that this might have been a reject from somebody um, who didn't take it to the final stage, but had run it through a tumbler. I think that's very, very possible. There are a lot of dumps um, in that area. People do uh, dump their stones down there uh, as well. You can, you can see those sometimes today. I ran across even some cut pieces of rock um, that people had discarded from uh, stuff that they didn't want to keep. Um, but I thought that this piece was was pretty interesting, has good depth, and if it is taken to the polished st polish stage, it might look kind of nice. Okay, let's see here. Another interesting uh, nodule here, a little geode that was broken open. It's got some druzy inside of it. And another interesting formation with agate, a little geode here. I like to cut these guys open, but look on this other side, kind of fun, pretty looking agate. And here's some waterline agate. I, I generally don't pick up too many of these, um, but this one was kind of pretty. Well, we got some large nodules. These ones, this one isn't broken open or anything, so I'll cut this and just have a look inside. I don't expect too much out of it, but sometimes you can be pleasantly surprised by these larger nodules. Often they have a cavity in them. Many times there'll be a geode. I just suspect that this one is fully formed, that the crystals have fully formed inside and that it'll be mostly crystals and not much agate designed to it. <clears throat> Here's another ugly nodule. This one you can see that the crystals have formed solid together. It's got agate around the outside. Um, but again, when you see this, you, you wouldn't really suspect that it was much of anything from the, from the looks of it. Another similar nodule there. And this one's kind of a pretty one. Again, crystals formed in the inside and agate around the outside. So, and some, some more interesting designs here, agate and betroidal formations. Anyway, that's, uh, you get an idea of what you can find out here in, when you're in the Eastern Oregon area.